Hello, and thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Stefania Jimenez. Welcome to the conversation. I'm super excited that you're with us today because we're going to talk about something that has been all the rage on social media. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right now. So here it is. All right, so you see it right there, NAD supplements, right? So what I want you to do is come back here because I'm going to ask you a question. Raise your hand if you're often tired or you feel kind of bleh, right? That's the only way to describe it. Well, I have had a hard time focusing also recently, and uh, I've had a, such a difficult time. I've been talking about it so much that I'm actually getting targeted ads on my phone right now. And one of the things that came up was NAD+, and it's been a lot of people have been having conversations about this all over social media. Um, you know, people obviously talk about different energy supplements that are supposed to help you um, with energy, focus, also just feel better. So that brings us to something called, my friends, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. I know, it's a mouthful. It's supposed to be NAD plus for short. This is a supplement that you could take through IV, injection, pills, a nasal spray, or a patch. More and more med spas and wellness centers across the country, but especially around San Antonio, are offering this. But the question is whether NAD plus is safe. Also, what is it? Well, we did some of that work for you, and we're going to show you that right now. I was happy, and I was happy, and I was happy. And I, everything looked crisp and clean. That's how Irene Martinez felt after the first time she took NAD+. She wanted to feel better. Tiredness, sleepiness, um, I could not focus at work. Those are some of the symptoms NAD+, treatments aim to alleviate. NAD is a coenzyme that's in all living cells. It helps create energy, but... NAD levels decrease as we age. That's why so many people are turning to NAD treatments. Like our friend Irene, she receives NAD plus therapy through an IV just like this, but you can also get it in pill form through a nasal spray injection or a patch. So we're simply restoring our state to when we were younger. That's essentially what we're providing. Dr. Christopher Mikolif is a double board certified plastic and reconstructive surgeon in San Antonio. He also gets NAD injections and offers them at his practice. But before you take NAD+, consider a few things. One, the Food and Drug Administration regulates NAD plus as a dietary supplement and not a drug. So what that means is that they just don't get the same level of scrutiny. Two, not all NAD is the same. So make sure you know where your supplements are coming from and three, NAD plus isn't recommended for everyone. Pregnant individuals or individuals that are subsequently breastfeeding or individuals that have underlying chronic medical conditions that are not well controlled or individuals that have cancers are not appropriate candidates for, for NAD. Back to Irene, she's already planning her next NAD treatment. Probably in another month or two, I'll probably do it again. It's just an awesome feeling. Stefania Jimenez, KSAT 12 News. All right, so you heard from all of them there. When we come back, we're going to discuss this a lot more in depth because it's important. I spoke with another person who you didn't hear from in this particular story who not only administers the NAD injections, she also takes them herself. And so it's a different perspective to hear from somebody who's on both sides of it. She answers many of the questions that you're curious about, and we're going to have that interview coming up. Hello and welcome back to the conversation. You know, it seems like everybody around us these days is exhausted, right? When you ask people how they're doing, their response is usually, well, I'm busy. It's not just me. It's not just you. And, you know, increasingly we feel like the workload at our jobs and homes are just way too much. And you feel like there's not enough time in the day when we feel overwhelmed or stressed. That can also make us lose focus, which, of course, stresses us out even more. So that's why I'm talking about NAD+, Plus because it's super popular. And as a community, I thought it was important to talk about what it is so that we can help each other out and help each other feel better. Now, I wanted to point out that some of the research on NAD+, Plus so far, is pretty mixed. According to the National Institutes of Health, preclinical studies in animals have shown promise, but the human clinical trials, those aren't as clear. So the NIH wants larger trials now to determine the best doses for NAD+, Plus 
how long the treatments should last, and also who would benefit the most from NAD. Keep in mind that NAD isn't a drug. It's also regulated by the FDA as a supplement. What does that mean? Well, because it's regulated as a supplement and not a drug, it just doesn't get the same level of scrutiny that other drugs get. So that's important for you to keep in mind, especially if you're on other medications, you just don't want that interaction. So there are a few ways, again, that you could take NAD+. You could take it through pills, patches, nasal spray, um, IV and injection. And according to experts, pills are the most popular way to take them, which makes a lot of sense because they're the most accessible. As for which method is the most effective, well, that really depends on who you ask. It matters how often you take it. The IV method, we looked it up. It can be the most expensive, the cheapest place that's offering NAD plus through IV that I found in the San Antonio area is offering it for $200 a session, but I also found some places that offer it as high as $500 a session. But of course, that depends on the dose and how many sessions you're getting. When it came to pills, I looked it up. The cheapest pills that I found that contain NAD plus were $25 for a one month supply. Okay. So coming up, after this, I want you to hear from Kelly Smith. She's the interview that I have been promising you. She's a certified laser technician who also administers the NAD shots and takes them herself. And I want you to hear from her after the break because she has a really interesting perspective on how all of this works and how it can potentially help us. We'll be right back. Thank you so much for staying us with us here on The Conversation. So right now, you're about to hear from Kelly Smith, a certified laser technician who administers the NAD shots under the supervision of Dr. Christopher Mikuliff, who you saw in the piece that I brought to you earlier. And she also is a patient. She takes the NAD, NAD shots herself. I spoke with her a short while ago, and I want you to hear her perspective on all of this. So without further ado... Here she is. I am a certified laser technician here at McLeod Plastic Surgery. I am um, very passionate about the natural aspect to overall health and well-being. Okay. And um, what if we can go over what NAD actually is? Because there's a lot of confusion. It's like <laughs> NAD plus. It's like NR. Like any, like the, it's just. If you could just there's, explain to someone what it is. There's different precursors to NAD. In my opinion, NAD plus is going to be the best way to metabolize it. And it's going to be nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide. And it essentially is a coenzyme that's derived from B3. And so it's going to be a vital vitamin per se. And as we age, our NAD levels are going to naturally decline. And so whenever we're refueling our tank with that NAD, you're going to essentially see a critical role being played in your energy production, your ATP, and or your mitochondria function. So should we think of this as like the same way that you would get like a B12 shot? In a sense, yes. Um, NAD is a little bit more, it's going to be your anti-aging. It's going to actually go into those cells. There is NAD in every living cell in our body, whereas B12 is an energy vitamin given. So they are different in a sense, but they're still in the same family of, they're going to help us feel better, right? They're going to give us more energy. They're going to increase things for us to in turn promote us feeling better and as you're someone that's in i would say the beauty industry um the cosmetic industry we have seen an explosion of this uh just in the past year or two where these ads are everywhere and they're marketed towards towards women mostly absolutely um could you talk about that just what you've seen since you've been in the industry for how long I've been in the industry for six years. Um, I feel like it really exploded after COVID. And again, that's that's my opinion on it. But after COVID, I feel like when everybody was able to be at home and have time to research, have time to heal from these things, treatments on our end really skyrocketed um, in a good and bad way, in a good and bad way. There's a lot of information out there and it's hard as a consumer or as a patient to know what is right what is wrong, what is good, and what's best. Yeah, and we're going to get to that in a moment because that's another reason that I'm doing this story. So you 
administer the NAD injections on, on people? And, and what kind of uh, patients do you have that go to you for NAD plus? So most of our patients are post-surgical patients. So it goes in to help with overall recovery and to help enhance their energy, um, help overall health post-surgery. Because we know that after surgery, your body is depleted. And so that is delegated to me by our doctor. Um, if we have somebody coming in that is new to us, a new patient, that's going to go through our PA. Uh, she's going to go in and get their all of their medical intake. She's going to take some blood, get all the labs done to ensure that it's safe. It's a safe and effective treatment for them. But my patients are surgical patients looking to feel better after surgery. But you yourself are an NAD plus patient. I how, am. Long, how long have you been giving yourself the injections? I am about five months in and I started with once weekly and I'm going up to three times weekly. And I have never felt better. And I feel like that's why I'm so passionate about this. Everybody, I want everybody to know how good you can feel whenever you replete your body, whenever you replenish your body of things that it's missing that you might not even know you're missing out on. And you know this just as a mom, a working mom, um, the one thing that when you talk to most women um, who have young kids, they're like, I'm just tired. Yeah. You know, it's like, go, go, go. And it seems like you, being on that side as well, you mm -hmm. understand that that's something that you're like, you know, this tiredness, you don't have to feel that way. Right, right. Uh, a lot of my patients and clients that have become friends over the years, they laugh at me because I'm like, you know, after week five, when I really, I felt like I was really refueling my body and refueling those levels in AD and it was spilling over, my cup was spilling over for once and I felt so much happier. And I think I told you this too, that people were like, you're always happy. What do you mean you're happier? And they're right, I am always happy, but I feel happier inside and that was huge to me. And so that was a part of my passion of getting this out to moms, but just in general that there are things we can do naturally to stimulate our bodies, replenish our bodies, with no pain, no downtime, no side effects. Um, it, it's slowly, we're getting there. So coming back, I know exactly what you're thinking. You wanna run out and you probably wanna get this stuff, but hold on, before you do that, you should know NAD plus is not recommended for everybody. So who can take it, who shouldn't? And let's really get down to those side effects. Stick around, we'll be right back to discuss that after the break. Welcome back, my friends. I hope that you're getting a lot out of this conversation about NAD+. If you're wondering where I'm getting all of my information, it is through doctors, uh, the National Institute of Public Health, and also the research out there that's already been published. So let's go into who would actually benefit from NAD supplements right now, because that's a big question. Well, the research here is saying that athletes, people with chronic fatigue syndrome, or people who are experiencing age-related decline or obesity would benefit from NAD. But there are also a number of people who shouldn't be taking NAD+. And that's important because the data out there is limited on how safe NAD supplements are for the following people. But we wanted you to have that list. The people who shouldn't take NAD are pregnant or breastfeeding women, children, of course, people with liver or kidney disease, people with chronic diseases like heart disease, diabetes, or cancer, and also people who know already that they're allergic to NAD or they're on medications that could possibly interact with NAD. So I wanted to get that out of the way so that you had that information. Finally, I wanted to get into the side effects because that's one of the most important things, right? You're on a medication or you're on a supplement because you want to feel better, but then sometimes you get nasty side effects. Well, that's why I wanted you to be prepared with this. And here's a list of them. Apparently, when I looked it up or I researched it, the, the side effects are pretty mild, especially if you take NAD in low doses. But the doctor uh, that I spoke with, I outlined these for me, and I also found this all over my re on, on, online with all the research that I did. Nausea, flushing, headaches, fatigue, dizziness, allergic reactions, 
Injection site soreness should, that should only last about a day or two. Also cramps and stomach discomfort. So I hope that all of the information that we went over today helps you so that you're able to get more information to feel better. Like I said, this is a community that we have here. I want us all to feel well and happy. And again, I hope that you got good information out of this episode of The Conversation. Thank you so much for joining us. Be well, feel better, and we'll see you soon.